to many people. Ugh. Do me a favor. Sure. Keep an eye on my parents. Make sure they don't disrupt anything. My mother doesn't behead anyone. My father doesn't snore too loudly when he falls asleep. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm sorry. Have you not met them? Why would they come and do that? They're here because Rory invited them. No. Yes. I can't say no to that little face. It's like hitting a puppy with a rolled up newspaper. Hey, you guys are not going to believe this. You're Mr. Announcement Guy today. Boy, are you going to pipe in every time I talk? Can it? Stop it. Fair enough. Anyway. So Mrs. Gottbox out there, not only has a cameraman, she's got a sound guy, too. Oh, no. It's like a Baz Luhrmann movie out there. That's Emily, right? <laughs> Which people feel so entitled. Yeah, damn them. I swear I saw her wipe her face with a hundred dollar bill. We should line him up against the wall. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, Lorelai Gilmore here? Yes. Oh, come on. Have a look at these, will you? Wow. Really? Look them over and take your pick. What for? To where? Are they for sale? No, they're paid for. These are from your mother, Emily Gilmore. Wow, Ritzy. I really don't want to wear a corsage. They're all paid for. Really, it's too much. Your mother wants you to pick one. Really, it's okay. She'll just come back here herself. This one, thanks. Good choice. The cameraman said that was the best on film. So you're the rich girl. Maybe. I'm not rich, but my parents have money, but I'm totally self-sufficient. I take nothing from them except this corsage and my daughter's tuition. So... You gonna stone me? I should have guessed. Hey, look at her friends. They're wearing suits that drip money. Hey, pal, this was 30% off. So that's why you didn't want to get pizza? Because it's below you? No, no, no. No, why is that? Pizza is not below me. Believe me, I love pizza. I eat tons of pizza. It's one of my four major food groups. Candy, popcorn, and pizza. It's two of my food groups. That's how much I love pizza. I want to believe you. Enjoy your champagne and caviar at the Ritz, your highness. I'm not rich! Oh. You jerk. Maybe the suit was a little much. You're a pot, and don't start. Oh, no. What? Mary's running late. Late for what? Doesn't say. So she's definitely going to be here, but if she's not here by seven, she'll sneak in the back. Well, that's weird. She'll be here, don't worry. Hope so. How about we sit in back, keep an eye out for her, and we'll save her seat? That'd be great. Oh, can you hang on to all my stuff for me? I'll put it in here. Will do. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you don't trust your valuables around us poor kids, huh? Knock it off, Zach. You don't look happy. I'm late. The buses are the worst. Why are we making so many stops? The bus didn't make stops on the way into the city. No, well, it's probably an express. This local makes a lot of stops. I should have checked the schedule. I should have checked traffic. Note to self, impulsive definitely does not work for me. What are you doing? Oh, uh, it's from a spit. Your what? From a smokeless. Are you telling me that that is the best commencement speaker they can scrounge up? I hope we're always getting enough shots of Laura. I don't want the whole damn ceremony. None of her. Oh, no, I disagree. I hope he gets every inspired word articulated by the East Coast marketing director of Pop and Taco. No!
so it certainly cost enough. Sure, it would be great. Congratulations, Bob. Thank you. Glad you guys came. Yes, well, we should get going. I guess we'll see you tomorrow for dinner. Hey, wait. Are we going to take a picture? Excuse me? The three of us? Me in the middle with the gown, you know, the traditional pose? Well, we don't have a camera with us. Hold on. That's a camera? That's a camera! It looks like a toy. Oh, bro, would you mind? Yeah. Oh. Okay, on the count of one, two, three. Cheese. Thank you. Yes, well, tomorrow then. Absolutely. Let's go, Richard. I'll be right there, Emily. Congratulations. Oh, you don't have to do this. Put it towards something fun. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> we're so proud of you. Oh, yeah, you were great up there. Thanks, you guys. Where's Rory? No, Rory? She called your cell and I answered and she said she had hung up on something or other and she'll see you at home. Hung up? Hung up where? Is she okay? She said she's fine. She's sorry, but fine. No. As long as she's okay, I guess. Um, well, I should probably get the gown back. Thanks for coming, Zook. Marcus Schenkenberg. You want to go out to eat? Celebrate a little? No, I think I'll just go home to Rory. I thought so. See you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aspirins instead of Jordan almonds? But we already bought the almonds. Wow, now that's the longest anything's ever taken. My family's not going to get the joke. Can't we just use the almonds? Okay, sweetie, come to. I'm so, so sorry. Well, you're okay, right? Yes. Everything's working. Your wrist's okay and the knee's broken. I'm fine. Anyone you know, like Lane or someone, suddenly get sick today, or break an arm themselves, or get in a car wreck? No. Okay, good. Then I can get past worry and move on to other things. I know you're hurt. Yeah, you bet I'm hurt. Worry, I really wanted you there today, more than anything. You're why I did this stupid thing in the first place. I know. It was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. You should have been there. My best friend should have been there. Whatever it was that kept you, you should have gotten out of it. At least this once. Was it school? It wasn't school. Was it Paris? It wasn't Paris. Well, what was it? So stupid. Well, Rory, where were you? What happened? I cut school. What? I cut school and I got on a bus and I don't even know why I did it. I, I have no excuse. I was just standing outside of Chilton and I don't know, I must have had a stroke or something. What does a stroke feel like? I don't know. Not good, probably. And I left school and I got on a bus and I went to New York and that's it. I'm grounded for six months or seven, and no TV, no stereo, no reading. In fact, take all of my books away from me and lock them up. Hold on here. You went to New York? And no magazines either. And I'm going to do all of the housework. Laundry, dishes. In fact, we're going to start eating at home so that we have dishes. Hurry. What? Stop. Why did you go to New York? To see Jess. Boy, do you know how to bury the lead. I don't know what happened. You went to New York to see Jess. It was the stroke. It made me someone else. And after his phone call last night, that was him. It did something to me. I don't know what. In fact, you should take the phone away from me, too. That's right. Add it to the list. No books, no music, no phone. Okay, Rory. I'm a horrible person. You're not a horrible person. I'm sick. I'm ill. I'm cracked. This is not who I am. If I were to write this down in my diary and I would read it, I would be like, who is this freak? This isn't me. This isn't my diary. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't skip school when I have finals coming up to go see a guy that isn't even my guy and end up missing my mother's graduation, which I wanted to be at so badly. And that's someone else. That's someone flighty and stupid and dumb and girly. And I mean, I missed your graduation, which is the worst thing I could have possibly done. I mean, I hurt you and I had to spend hours on a stinky bus next to a guy that was spitting into a can, just thinking about all the minutes that were going by that I wasn't at your graduation and they were hurting you and they should have been hurting you because it was so selfish of this person who wasn't me to do what she did. Oh my God, take a breath. I don't deserve a breath, no breath. You should add that to the list. You should beat me, ground me, take the phone away, and deprive me of air. Okay, look, 
Nobody wants to say this any less than me, but uh, maybe you don't have a medical condition or a mental problem. Maybe, honey, you are falling for Jess. No. Well, no, I love Dean. Dean is my boyfriend. He'll always be my boyfriend. That's it. Forever. No, maybe not forever. Yes, forever. I love Dean. And Jess is gone now, and everything's going to be good again. Everything's going to be all right. Or you cut school. Yeah, I know. Got on a bus and went to a strange city in your uniform to see Jess. I know. Ugh, that doesn't mean nothing. That means something. I mean, no, I don't want to talk about this anymore. The only thing I want to talk about is the list I made on the bus of all the ways I'm going to make this up to you. You get total control over the remote and the stereo for as long as you want. Total control over takeout, food choices, and a special surprise present every day for a month. And, oh my god, I left your present on the bus. It was a vinyl copy of the Go-Go's original album, and it was signed by Belinda, but it's not the only copy, and I'm going to find another copy. That's going on the list, too. Oh, honey, please, forget about the list until tomorrow. Okay, I'll just go to bed then, and I'll go to my room. Hold on one second. Does this mean I have to eat alone? Well, it's up to you. Sending me to bed without supper, you can't lose with that punishment. It's a classic. I'd rather go out with my daughter tonight. I don't deserve it. No, but I do. Okay, just... Let me take a shower and get the horrible smell of this horrible day off of me, and then we'll go anywhere you want, my treat, and, and I won't enjoy it. And then we'll come home, and I'll go straight to bed, and I'll have a terrible night's sleep, okay? Okay. I'm so, so sorry, Mom. Oh, really? Because you didn't make that clear. Hmm? Yeah.
Was she a doodle girl? No, what was that? It was a doodle girl. I thought it was you. No. It wasn't him. Still a piece of it. Bye. Bye, Sorry, but... I was like, yeah, I think he's finally, like, getting that, like, go time as a command. Mm-hmm. So. Did he go time today? I have, oh, let's get inside, because he's actually taking it as a command. Because he just won, and he's just walking around. He wasn't doing anything, wasn't doing anything, wasn't doing it. Finally, I was like, go time. I was like, he's so frustrated with him. And he puts up this little tiny little... <laughs> and I was like, all right, good boy. <laughs> like, he just did it for my benefit. <laughs> it's like, fine, if you're going to yeah. bully me. It was so cute. It was like smaller than it was when he was a little puppy. <laughs> I was like, Tiny too.